delicate balance, understanding a common English phrase. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore the phrase delicate balance. This is a common expression in English and understanding it can really help you in both speaking and writing. Let's dive in. Delicate balance refers to a situation where different elements or factors are in a state of equilibrium, but this equilibrium is fragile and can be easily disturbed. It's like balancing a set of scales where both sides are equal, but even a small weight can tip the balance. This phrase is often used in contexts where maintaining this balance is crucial and challenging. Let's look at some examples to understand how delicate balance is used in everyday language. Work-life balance. She struggles to maintain a delicate balance between work and family. Environmental concerns. There is a delicate balance between industrial development and environmental conservation. Personal relationships. In friendships, there's often a delicate balance between giving advice and respecting boundaries. Understanding synonyms can expand your vocabulary. Similar phrases to delicate balance include fine line, tightrope walk, juggling act. Each of these phrases also conveys the idea of managing multiple elements carefully without tipping over. Now, how can you use this phrase in your conversations? Here are some tips. Use it when discussing situations involving careful management of two or more factors. It's great for descriptive writing, especially when illustrating the complexity of a situation. Remember, it's often used metaphorically to describe intangible balances, like emotions or relationships. And that's a wrap on delicate balance. Remember, language is not just about words but the ideas and nuances they convey. We hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase delicate balance effectively in your English conversations. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more language tips. See you in our next video.